Uh, Tamar Braxton had social media in a total frenzy after a video was posted of her making an appearance at a birthday party in Atlanta with her new alleged new boo, Junior. Now, Junior, a.k.a. Jeremy Robinson, is an Atlanta-based personal injury and criminal defense attorney and the co-founder of the JR Law Group. Well, Little Duvall saw the video and on Tamar Jr. and uh, he commented, but y'all, um, but, but, but let us get a white woman. Y'all going to snap. Are you guys happy for Tamar? And what are your comments? What are your thoughts on, on Lil Duvall's comments? And is there a double standard when it comes to black women dating white men? Al, let's get into it with you first. Oh, yeah. I mean, at, first of all, if, if this is in fact true, because neither one of them have confirmed that they're dating. But if, if, if it is in fact true, congratulations, Tamar. Um, you know, anything that makes you happy, you know, I'm all here for it. Uh, but let me tell you something. Some of the most successful black women in entertainment, whether it's television, sports, fashion, music or film, date white men. And you don't see the backlash. You don't see the backlash with the Halle Berry's, the Kerry Washington's, the Whoopi Goldberg's, the Lonnie Loves, the Serena and Venus Williams, the Zoe Kravitz, the Garcelle Beauvau, Naomi Campbell or Eve or even Paula Patton. All of these super, super successful black women have abandoned the, the black male and are now dating or married to the white man. Tell me, Claudia, why there is a double standard, because when we see a successful black man out here, when we covered the NBA draft and we saw all those young millionaires with their girlfriends and even some of them with their babies, most of them were white females. We didn't have a lot of positive things to say. Uh, well, since you asked me, I'll, I'll answer what I hear from my friends. Um, I think with black women, it, ends, it typically ends up being more of a necessity than a preference. And I feel like black men, a lot of times they make it very clear that it's a preference. I don't like black girls. I, I don't. Now, if I hear a black woman saying I don't like black men and I'm dating white men because of that reason, that's one thing. But you hear a lot of these women when they have, you know, when you ask them, they say they tried and they couldn't get one or no one was hollering at them. We saw that black, beautiful, uh, dark skin influencer, the TikToker girl that said she her preference is still a black man. But none of them get out of they don't holler at her. They don't hit on her. So I think it's a little different in that regard. But if you're the type that just disregards your own race because you just straight up don't like them, that's that's something else. But if it's no, no one's hollering at you, that's different. I don't know. And I just want to say dated, you know, because we know Carrie Washington is married to a black man now, but she has dated white men in the past. I'm sorry. Go ahead. OK, Q, what do you think? Um. So to, yeah, to Al's point, if they are dating, congratulations to Tamar. Very unpopular opinion, and I'm probably gonna get in trouble for this. Um, I've been of the belief that black women should have abandoned black men a long time ago. Um, you know, you hear you hear black women complain about, you know, how they're overeducated, they ain't enough, they don't want us, they they prefer white women, and and, and I've been of this, I've been of the school of thought, play the same game. Um, you, you know, then you you also hear a lot of black women hold on to this, but I want a black man, but I want to have beautiful black babies. But if you're saying that black men aren't good enough or, you know, they ain't right for you, they're not acting right or they're choosing other races over y'all, then it's time y'all start playing the same game. So I don't see nothing wrong with it. I just feel like when I see, and this is just me, when I see a, 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 a black woman with a white man, I usually, for some reason in my head, I think, oh, he must got money. And that's really I really not do. Fair I really black, do. And that's, I get it. It's just not fair to black women to assume that they're not capable of like seeing past that. Like, you know, you, you can't fall in love with a man based on his character. It's, it's really passing that stereotype along that we're just gold digging, money hungry. And we're just there for the money. If that's the case, um, half the brothers that we dated before that white man wouldn't have got no play. So I don't know. I, I I dated a white man one time in college. Shocking. I know being as pro-black as I am. And it was so uncomfortable because all of his friends would say, um, what kind of family does she come from? Do they have money? It was all about finances and not about my character. And I was very, I felt very uncomfortable and I could not go forward with it. But it's, it, 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 it's funny because if you keep it real, every woman dates a man for money within the room in which she can reach. You know what I'm saying? All women want security. All women want stability. All Every woman wants the most successful man she could possibly get her hands on. So, yeah, oftentimes it is for money. And especially if you're on a celebrity status, 
and you've had bad experiences with black men, you, you, you're not going to get no broke. You're not going to go get no broke white one. Um, at least you can do if you're going to go get a white one is get you one with some money. Unlike some of these brothers, they go get these honey boo boo looking um, white women's and be flaunting them, <laughs> flaunting them around living in the double wide trailer. So I ain't mad with it. And, and let's keep it a buck. It's not just the women out here dating for money. There's a whole bunch of men that are doing the same damn thing. Actually, I see a lot of that, especially in Dallas. Uh, the tables are definitely turning. A lot of sugar mamas right now. All right, y'all. Um, let's move are they on. Black women. Black women. Beautiful. Black women are sugar mamas. Yes. Yo, if you ever come to Dallas and see the girls that I row ro- with, they all are multimillionaires. Got it going on. They're the breadwinners. I actually was working. But on I mean, wait, 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 wait. We're talking about interracial. So are you got a you got a, a lot of black successful black women in 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 Dallas that are dating white men, but they got money. They being sugar mamas. Well, I wasn't just talking about white men. I meant just dating men. I I was oh, piggybacking off the okay. dating men that don't make as much. Yeah. I was going to say I need to food in Dallas. Black. Well, let me tell you something. The black women in Dallas are extremely. <laughs> successful they are like seriously all right I mean, moving on. Let, let's let's and let's just also not pretend in closing and this is a conversation for a whole nother show um when we get into the wise but black men have the lowest amount of social currency amongst any group right now so i mean i, I could honestly understand why anybody would be attracted to exploring other possibilities and that's not to slight black men because i'm a black man myself um, but you know, real is just real. Mm. But most desired sexually. 